one of my favorite things about the beat is the lovely mix of water we've got here that we we do stand a realistic chance of catching fish in a massive range of heights we've got everything from lovely slow flowing pools to uh, to some really nice streamy water that can be fantastic into the summer months and we're very lucky in the fact that our beats are double banked for the entirety so my favorite part of the beat would be the sandy bay and the otter stone uh, around three foot five on the gauge the sandy bay can be a fantastic pool it, uh, it's just classic fly water, just a lovely even flow to it and it's, it's a really nice depth. Particularly as you get down to, there's a, a handrail comes down on the far bank, as your fly swings in line with that handrail on a nice big swing, it's a, a really good take and spot. Unlike Sandy Bay, the, the Otter Stone is, uh, there's a, a deeper channel starts to form there. So where we can get away with a, a floating tip in Sandy Bay, uh, a bit of intermediate at least is, is usually a good way to go for the Otter Stone. Just stops the fly skating. Um, that said, one of my favourite ways to fish up pool is with a sunray shadow, usually on a, a slow sink tip. Moving down from there, um, we get to a pool called Laird's Cast. Uh, it can be fantastic if you've had fish moving up through the beat overnight and it's their first chance for a little rest day, nose into the pool, rest up and be quite a good place to nip a fish. So through some of that faster water there, uh, we come into the house pool, which is a favourite amongst guys staying in our lodge. You uh, come out with a lodge straight across the lawn and straight into the house pool. Quite a small pool, but can fish really well. Uh, one of my favourite lies at roughly two foot four on the gauge is a really good lie in the raw pot. Standing just up above uh, our boat on the beat and casting as long of a line as possible. With a downstream mend, keeps your, keeps your line off an awkward boil, comes around on a, a, just a beautiful swing there. And as your fly gets just this side of the centre, there's a really good taking spot. A uh, couple of boulders under the surface there that uh, the fish like to lie in around. And uh, you just, you feel that line tight enough and uh, you know it, you know it's on. What I would recommend for best tackle for fishing our beach would, would be a wide range really. For the spring, I would recommend 15 footers. Because we've got some really deep holes, I, I like the anglers to get down as deep as possible. As we move into the later part of the spring, you then start to get away with um, 13 foot rods, 13 eight, and you can cover the water no problem at all with those. Moving into the summer, I would recommend the anglers go to the shorter rods. I quite like to use a little 11 foot switch rod, uh, just a nice size for some of the smaller pockets of water that we'll be fishing. Not gonna be overkill and you can just work your fly in some nice small areas. Uh, into the back end, I, I would recommend uh, a couple of setups. It's good to have a, a heavier rod in case we get a, a high back end water and maybe a, a mid-sized rod around the 13 foot mark as well. For anglers looking to fish with ourselves, the, the best way to approach the beat is coming from the center of Bankery, taking the North D side road heading towards the Boyne and the turnoff is, is just on the left hand side before you get to the bend. Third, to, third driveway on the left. For the beat itself, uh, we've got a, a lovely hut that's got a, a fantastic view. It's kitted out with toilets and got electricity so we've got uh, a fridge and everything in there. Um, fantastic wood burning stove in there which is a really big hit with the, the guests in the spring. Oh, uh, coming out of cold, get warmed up for a little bit and then straight back out on the river, try and get stuck into the fish. So we're quite lucky, a uh, little black hole in each marlow here, that we've got a, a couple of boats on the beat. Uh, give us a bit of freedom that they, they allow us to get around the, the guests very quickly and make sure everybody's okay. They're also fantastic for, for guys that maybe aren't so confident in wading certain areas. We can get guys out in the boat and uh, maybe get to one or two of those hard to reach areas and, and get a fly past some likely taking spots. And we offer life jackets on the beat as well. In terms of patterns, um, I'm a big fan of a cascade, certainly when there's a little bit of color in the water. Silver storts as well, really good in, in low clear water conditions. A uh, big fan of, of fishing with a dropper as well. 
Uh, I personally like a, a blue elver on the dropper. I think you get a, a lovely little flutter off the fly. And that extra movement out of that fluttering fly, it just again, it entices the fish into to coming in and having a look. Some deep holes as well, so it, it's well worth bringing some, some heavy sinking flies. Uh, tungsten tubes, copper tubes, just try and get down. One of my other favourite things about the beat is just the, the range of colour you get in the autumn time here as, as all the leaves start to change colour and you get those beautiful autumnal colours coming through. It's just, it's something else. It's, it's a really beautiful spot to be.